All right, you know what we're going to do here today for this prospects video? We're going to be sharing the love and granting a few other teams and a few other prospects their spotlight because they definitely do deserve it. Today we're talking about a few NHL prospects that I find notable enough to put in a video. Obviously, these aren't all the prospects. These aren't all the good prospects. But these are some that have had some very good performances that I think do warrant their own discussion. So let's talk today about two Ottawa Senators prospects, a Florida Panthers prospect and one of our very beloved Detroit Red Wings prospects that I know a lot of Red Wings fans are going to spam the comments of this video saying how much they love him because that is just what Red Wings fans do. Let's start things off with the doubleheader. Firstly, we're talking about Vitaly Abramov, one of the more underrated Ottawa Senators prospects, a guy who is actually a little bit on the older side. He's 22 years old, drafted by the Columbus Blue Jackets, actually, in the 2016 NHL entry draft in the third round. He found his way over to the Ottawa Senators system via the Matt Duchesne trade back in 2019. And since then, he's been up and down AHL, NHL, Ottawa, Belleville, you know the drill, you know how it goes. But recently, he started off his 2020-2021 campaign with the Jokerit Hockey Club in the Liga. Now, this isn't the Helsinki Jokerit, that is a team that plays in the KHL. This is the Jokerit, and I'm probably not pronouncing that wrong, but they play in a different city. It's the Mikkelen Jokerit instead of the Helsinki Jokerit that everybody is familiar with. This is indeed a Liga team that Vitaly Abramov has come over to and is absolutely strong started dominating for. He has five goals and one assist in four games played for six points. He was absolutely dominating because he actually scored five goals in three games played. The most recent game saw him get an assist, putting himself up to a total of six points. He's wearing the gold helmet over there for his team, indicating him as one of the top scorers. He was a guy who has scored five of eight team goals for the Jokerit hockey team, and it's absolutely incredible taking a look at how he has dominated this team. Obviously, as an older guy, you expect a little bit more out of him than you would, let's say, somebody who was drafted in 2020, but at the same time, you'd rather see him dominate over a point per game, over a goal a game, rather than not see him do that, of course, right? So... Vitaly Abramov, definitely a guy who has had his fair share of the spotlight for Liga prospects in the Senator system, but there is another one we want to talk about over here today. It is Roby Yarventy, and this is a guy whom a lot of Sens fans have been kind of interested in because he was taken 33rd overall at the 2020 NHL entry draft. Yes, this guy is indeed 18 years old. He recently turned 18. His birthday was back in August of this year. And playing for the Ilvis Hockey Club, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I apologize if I did not do that. But as a guy who did spend his entire year last season in the second tier Finnish Hockey League with the Kuvi team, this is pretty much the AHL of Finland, he was a point per game there in their second tier league. And so now as a guy who is suiting up for the Ilvis full time in the Liga, He's at seven points in nine games played. Not bad at all for an 18-year-old rookie who has just recently made his debut onto the number one scene. Taking a look at his elite prospect scouting report. This is what they say about the six foot two, hundred and eighty-five pound left winger who was recently drafted by the Ottawa Senators. He anticipates play well in the offensive zone. He scores a lot by having a feel for where the puck is going to be next. He can pull off some pretty impressive moves while playing at full speed and consistently displays good habits by keeping the puck close to his frame. And this definitely was one of the more intriguing, one of the more notable, and one of the more hyped-for prospects that the Senators got in this 2020 draft, and they got Drysdale and Stutzla. This guy, though, Roby Arventy, at the start of the second round, definitely was a little bit of a reach, some would say, because taking a look at his overall projections, hey, future considerations had him at 65. Craig Button had him at 36, which is around where he went. McKean, 61. TSN and Bob McKenzie, 52nd. So those obviously projections him on average to be a little bit worse than where he actually went. But now, if you take a look at it, hey, if you have a guy who is under a point per game in the top league in Finland as an 18-year-old, a recently turned 18-year-old at that, I think the majority of Ottawa Senators fans are going to be like, yeah, gimme, I want that guy. 
So, Roby Arventy, Abramov, two Senators prospects doing their thing in the Finnish League. Let's stick in the Finnish League, though, because there is another prospect that I wanted to cover here doing his thing in Finland, and this is Anton Lundell. Florida Panthers draft pick, a guy who was taken 12th overall at the 2020 NHL entry draft. Some people had Lundell as high as number three that I saw. I know Keith Freeze, a buddy of mine, was very high on Lundell. I believe he had him at number three. If not, I apologize for that. But taking a look at the projections, Lundell was ranked 8th by ISS, 8th by Future Considerations, 19th by Craig Button, 16th by McKean's, 12th by McKenzie, and he went 12th. So pretty accurate on some fronts over here. But everybody kind of remembers Anton Lundell because in his draft minus one season, the season before his draft year, which in this case was 2019-20, so the draft minus one was 2018-2019, he was at 19 points in 38 games, which was very good. It was like, I think it was better than Capo Caco's draft minus one year. Because in Capo Caco's draft minus one, he wasn't even playing in the league at full time. But Lundell was. So Lundell came into the 2019-2020 draft season with a whole bunch of stock. But in his season, though, he had 28 points in 44 games, which was good. It wasn't as good as Caco's, but it was still good. We just saw Tim Stutzla dominate the World Juniors. We saw Anton Lundell. I guess he did do his own part in the World Juniors because he had a goal in six games, but at the same time, he was better in the previous year. We just saw a whole bunch of other guys rise up, and Anton Lundell kind of stay there as that very capable two-way center who is so good in his own zone and who knows how to do hockey right. But, hey, he's been playing in the Finnish League of this season, and he just scored a hat-trick plus one. He got a four-goal game recently, and it puts him up to seven goals in seven games and one assist for eight total points. And as a guy who recently turned 19, hey, that's not bad. He turned 19 on October 3rd, so he was one of the early birthdays of the 2020 NHL draft class, which isn't a bad thing. It makes him one of the more experienced, one of the more overall just mature players in this draft, not just in age, but in the way that he plays. He is such a capable two-way center that there's a reason he was able to play in the league a full time when he was only 17 years old back in 2018-19. But now, he's a guy who has definitely taken a step up. He's a guy who a lot of Florida Panthers fans are saying, you know what, how are we going to see this guy play behind Barkov? Because if this guy can be the two-way beast that he can be while developing that offensive flair, my gosh, this guy could overtake Barkov. We saw this guy get two goals on penalty shots, which I guess you could say contributes to the overall difficulty of the hat trick he got, plus one. But the third goal he scored in the most previous game in the Liga was incredible. The guy showcased some elite speed on that play where he picked the puck up in the neutral zone, he skated towards the opponent's zone, split the D, cut right in, he shot it, he scored it. My gosh, Anton Lundell is an absolutely crazy talent, and we've known that for a while now. So he's a guy who has been good, he was drafted by Florida, and now he has given Florida Panthers fans a lot to drool over. Next up, though, another guy who has been given the fan bases a lot to drool over. The last one here, it's Moritz Sider. He finally scored a goal. Moritz Sider is at four points, four games, one goal, and three assists. This guy has been contributing offensively to the Rogla BK Hockey Club. We saw him actually play on the power play. He's playing over there. He's setting up guys. There was a goal with him and Niels Hoaglander actually combining their forces, which is crazy to me as a Vancouver Canucks fan. But hey, I love to see it anyways. Moritz Sider got his first SHL goal by taking the puck at the blue line, walking in. He was outside the faceoff circle. He shot it. It went in. It wasn't a crazy impressive goal. Wasn't super flashy, but hey, it got the job done. Shot it through a screen, did what needed to be done. He got a goal on the board, and now Moritz Sider is up there at four points in four games. Not shabby at all. A point-per-game defenseman. Oh, man, you love to see Moritz Sider just continuing on the up and up here for the Red Wings prospects, faithfuls. And I guess that's exactly what we're doing this video here for, because it's not even just Detroit that has a few good guys on display. There's Anton Lundell from the Florida system. There are Roby Yarventy and Vitaly Abramov from the Sen system. And just taking a look at the overall dominance that we have seen these prospects do so far in Europe, it does get me very excited for the future of the National Hockey League and its players. So talk to me in the comments what you think about all these guys. Vitaly Abramov, Roby Yarventy, 
Let's talk about Anton Lundell and let's talk about Moritz Sider in the comments section below. I know this YouTube channel has a lot of people who support the Red Wings, who support the Ottawa Senators too. I'll admit the Florida Panthers fan base not really too big on this YouTube channel, but hopefully this video can change that. If you are indeed from Florida, then I appreciate you checking out this YouTube video, but talk to me in the comments about all these prospects that you enjoyed this video. That is Charles 99. And bye. <laughs>